Game Girls and Game Boys. I'm Contemplate, and today I wanted to address the uh, new uh, rules for monetization on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure everybody's freaking heard of it, and uh, I might I might just be trying to feed on that a little bit. But then again, considering the changes, it's pretty reasonable. However, I also have a slightly different outlook on it than most. Now, a lot of people are getting screwed. And I've been on YouTube for two years now, almost to the month. And I never monetized because I didn't think that I should monetize my channel until I hit around a thousand subscribers. Or, you know, until I felt like I was really doing enough that monetizing would be worth my time and worth my viewers time as a way of supporting me so I have such a small group of people who watch my videos that I still hadn't but some after speaking to some people over the last month or two I finally decided you know what forget it I'm gonna monetize just so that like having commercials at the beginning or ends of my videos becomes common so you know it's not gonna be surprising to some die-hard viewers when all of a sudden my videos have ads and they're like yo Conti what's this all about you never did this to us before what's going on and just because I thought maybe somehow uh, monetizing would push my channel and you know make it more viewable like hopefully YouTube would push it up and more people would see my videos. So I decided to monetize. Now, here's the catch. I was waiting for it to happen. I, uh, I thought it was approved. My creator app showed uh, my monetization, my earnings for the month or whatever, and nothing was happening. And I wasn't getting an email, and I didn't know what was going on. And I started hearing about this new rule where you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time over the previous year and have 1,000 subscribers to monetize and then I started hearing rumblings of the fact that a lot of youtubers were waiting and YouTube was claiming it as a backlog that was keeping them from monetizing channels and now of course we all know <laughs> what is going on so it's it's so stupid. I think it's ridiculous. And somebody, one of the videos I watched, and I've watched about five now, so I may not be super well informed, but uh, I kind of know what's going on a little bit. And they said, uh, it just came out of nowhere, and da da da. And I'm like, no, we all know where it came from. We all know why this is happening. But here is my different outlook to a degree. I've been on YouTube for two years making consistent content and never once asking for anything in return other than comments and you guys to just chip, like hang in there with me while I try to get my footing and get better and grow my channel and I've been happy to do so because I've enjoyed doing this a lot. I've met some pretty cool people and this happening just kind of at first, I'm hearing about it, and it's bothering me because, of course, I was just trying to monetize. I was just trying to make a little bit on my channel so that I could use that money to improve my channel. And this happens. And I was thinking about it as I went through work, and I finally decided something. You know what? No matter what YouTube does, no matter how stupid they get, no matter what overreactions they have, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere so anybody who drops out now because they're not getting their five dollars a month for making YouTube videos let them go if they're not committed to this let them go I just wanted to throw in here real quick that I'm mostly when I say this farewell to those who can't hack it I'm mostly referring to people who got onto the platform of YouTube to make a quick buck to make easy money by playing video games and are going to be super upset that now their money's not coming to them because 
I know a few people who started YouTube channels with the explicit concept of making easy, quick money. And that's... It's not a good work ethic. Sometimes you have to do something for the passion of it, not for the money in it. And I realize that doesn't ring true for everyone because a lot of people were making money to help pay their bills and do other things and they were putting so much more into it that they needed however much they were making $100, $200 a year to help push their channel forward and with that it's gonna kill them and that sucks and that's where I feel like YouTube has really screwed up on this one but sadly no real changing what YouTube does because YouTube thinks that they know what's best or at least I imagine they do because they're taking these actions that seem just arbitrary and asinine to all of us YouTubers because one person made a big mistake and yeah that's a big deal but they're kind of punishing all the little guys for it like that guy has got like millions okay I don't know I don't remember I don't know how many subscribers he, Logan Paul has but it's a lot he's one of the big guys so why are they punishing the little guys how is that going to get rid of negative content? I just, I can't wrap my mind around it. But my takeaway from it is, the people who aren't committed will leave and open up positions for little guys like me who want to keep doing this because they enjoy it, because it's fun, because they like interacting with people. So, even though I tried monetizing and that's going to go nowhere now because I'm woefully shy of subscribers and woefully shy of the watch hours required I mean I broke that 10,000 views thing a year ago at least so I don't know all I know is whatever happens on the platform I'm here I'm here to stay unless YouTube gets shut down or starts like charging you to upload videos I'm here to stay and even if that happens, if I have the money for it, I'm still not going anywhere. So I want you guys to know that I'm here for the long haul and I do it because I enjoy it, not because it makes me f money. And even if it made me money, which I would really enjoy, that money would just get poured right back into the channel because I absolutely enjoy doing what I do. I love video games, like too much. Like, fat guy living in his parents' basement too much. Like, Funyuns and late nights because a new game came out, missing work. That's, I, I like it that much. I just don't do those things because, I mean, if I did do those things, I'd lose my house because I missed work and I would have to move back in with my parents and I'm not really, I'm not interested in doing that, guys. I'd rather have my own house to record in because I'm pretty sure my parents would get mad when I start getting loud while playing video games or at 2 a.m. when I'm up moving around and they're trying to sleep because they have work and I'm not paying them rent because I don't have a job anymore because I play too much video games. But if I did lose my job, that'd be awesome too because that would just give me more time for YouTube. But anyway, I just wanted to touch down on this because it's such a big thing and everybody's expressing very similar points of view on it and I agree with them in so many ways but I just wanted to say to all of you who are leaving because you're now upset that you're not making money farewell I mean to those who were passionate about it and really enjoyed it and did it because they cared who can't sustain it anymore I'm sorry like that friggin blows and I'm sorry to see you go. But to all of us who are sticking it out, to those of us who will stay around, just remember that whatever YouTube does, if you stick around, you'll be around. And when people leave, that just opens up places for you to move into. So whatever happens, I just want you guys to try and stick it out as I'm going to stick it out. As I know my buddies over at Swedish Beatballs, they're gonna stick it out and we're gonna keep trying to make the best content we can and those who are passionate about it 
and those who can sustain it will keep doing it. And I hope you support those people, whoever they are. Because YouTube's a really cool platform. I mean, in theory, based on the idea of being able to express your thoughts, opinions, and exercise your creativity, it's an awesome platform. They do some stupid sh stuff, but hopefully that doesn't deter you from pursuing what you enjoy. If it's not YouTube, if you don't enjoy it that much, peace. <laughs> so that's all I have to say. I just really want to touch base. So <laughs> that's all I have to say. I just really wanted to touch base on this because it's a big thing right now. And I was just like, you know what? Let them go. Let, let the weaklings go. Bye, weaklings. You can't handle it. We can. We are amazing. Okay, sorry. I keep, I keep grinding over the same crap. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys stick with me. Hopefully, you spread the word that Contemplate is here to stay. And I hope you share my videos with friends. Check out my social media. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this whole situation, whether you're a creator or not. Like, an outside perspective would be interesting to hear because I don't think a lot of people who aren't creators on the platform will say much. So, <laughs> leave me a comment down in the comment section. Make sure to like this video. Please subscribe and tell some friends about my channel. I'd really appreciate it. But, until next time, the game has just begun. I don't know how I feel about that outro. We'll see. Peace.